$47 and I do feel like I got quite a bit for my money I obviously feel like I could have gotten way more but with inflation prices I feel like this amount is pretty good for what I spent so baby girl is over here munching and some snacks yeah you munching and some snacks <laughs> she's munching on some snacks I'm going to try to get through this grocery haul as quickly as possible because I don't know how much time she is going to give me to get through it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this haul. All right, starting over here with the produce, you guys. I've got some grape tomatoes, some mini cucumbers, and some spinach. I already picked up fruits and vegetables, um, milk, eggs, bread, and all of those things earlier this week. So that is why I only have three things of produce here. I've got some of these seaweed snacks for me and Benjamin. We like these. These are the sea salt kinds. It looks like they're new packaging because they used to be like in trays. Um, so I got four of those. Two of my Holy Grail coffee creamers, the Chobani Sweet Cream. Two of those. And then I got a big pack of the Disney 100 Go-Gurts in the strawberry and vanilla flavor got some light sour cream, some whipped cream cheese spread for our bagels, and I got these bagel thins for canned goods, 10 cans of the little tomato sauces, and then I have four cans of the cream of chicken. I got three cans of the big tomato sauce and two cans of green enchilada sauce. Here I picked up some white crab meat. I plan on making a crab salad with some crackers. So I've got two cans of those. And then I've got three cans of the flaky jumbo butter biscuits. I plan on using these for breakfast. I plan on making like um, sausage gravy biscuits and then also some homemade donuts with these. So I've got three cans of those. For some meats, I picked up some thin bottom round steaks. I plan on making some homemade jerky with this. I've got two things of hamburger meat. Got a pack of hot dogs, some turkey bacon, and then two packages of the regular um, smoked bacon. And then over here, we have quite a bit of breakfast options and some lunch items. We are running low on some things and Benjamin requested more breakfast options for the morning. So I've got some buttermilk mini pancakes. I've got some of these French toaster sticks in the cinnamon flavor. Some of these Jimmy Dean breakfast burritos. This is the Meat Lovers egg sausage cheese and bacon. We've never had these, but they look pretty good and Jimmy Dean has never let me down. So hopefully these are good. And then Benjamin really loves these. These are the biscuit roll-ups that have sausage, egg, and cheese inside. And then these were new and also marked down. These are the Funfetti mini pancakes. So I'm sure all the kids will love these. Moving along, I've got this bird's eye garlic shrimp pasta. It comes with garlic sauce, shrimp, broccoli, carrots, and corn. This looked really good to have for a super quick lunch this week. I've got this kid cuisine with the popcorn, chicken, fries, corn, and a brownie for Benjamin for a quick lunch for him. And then I also got the all-star nuggets that comes with macaroni and cheese, corn, and a brownie as well for him or for Brody um, if he would like. Brody is a little bit more pickier than Benjamin though. Some Arby's seasoned curly fries. 
for myself, I've got this Lean Cuisine lasagna with meat sauce. This Smart Ones ham and cheese scramble for a quick breakfast for me if I'm really busy in the morning. Then I've got two of the Healthy Choice grilled chicken marinara with Parmesan and the beef teriyaki. These two are my favorites. So I've picked those up. And then I also picked up a pepperoni giorno pizza for a super quick lunch or dinner this week when we don't feel like cooking. I've got this toaster scrambles pastry that comes with eggs, cheese, and bacon. We've got some of the extra crispy fast food fries. You guys, if you love McDonald's french fries, these taste exactly like their fries. Highly recommend trying these out. These are really, really good. These are a staple in our house, these mini cinnamon toast Eggo waffles. And then I also picked up some of these Jimmy Dean griddle cakes, the maple pancakes and sausage. So these are like the McGriddles from McDonald's and these are really good as well. Got some Totino's party pizza triple cheese pack. Boys love these for lunches and dinner. And then the last thing here are these sausage and buttermilk biscuits biscuit breakfast sandwiches. So lots of breakfast options for the morning. Benjamin is a very independent. He can get up and, you know, start his homeschool, some of his homeschool stuff that he can do on his own. And then he can make himself some breakfast, whether it's cereal, throwing something in the air fryer or the microwave. So got some breakfast options for him. Some snacky options. I've got some of the Limon Hot Cheetos. These, you guys, I have been looking for these forever. These used to be my favorite Chex Mix, and I could hardly find them anywhere anymore. But this is the Honey Nut flavor. Really, really good. I love these. The Pringles were on sale this week. So I've got sour cream and onion, pizza, cheddar cheese, and barbecue. All of the kids love those, so those will be great to go with like sandwiches or grilled cheese. I've got some frosted strawberry Pop-Tarts. Little fingers trying to grab more snacks. Also picked up a tin pack of the veggie straws. It comes with sea salt and zesty ranch for the kids. Got some hot fries for me and dad, some turbos. I plan on making taco casserole one day this week, and we like to crush these up and put that on top. Also got some hot bunions for my sister. I picked up these jammy Sammy peanut butter and strawberry sandwiches. Baby girl loves these, so does Brody. So I've got these for some snacks for them. I've got these caramel coconut and fudge cookies, which these are a dupe for the Girl Scout Samoa cookies. So I've got some of those. Also got some of these organic crunchy sticks in the garden veggie flavor, which baby girl already dipped into. This is what she was snacking on. And then I also got her some banana yogurt melts. I picked her up one of these Veggie Power Harvest Bowls. It comes with brown rice sauce and vegetables. She loves this one, so I picked one up for her. And then I also got her a Chef's Boyardee Mini ABC and 123s with meatballs. I've got some whole dill pickles. I have been in the mood for pickles lately, so I picked up a whole jar of those. For some more snacks, I got these Quaker Big Chewy Chocolate Chip Granola Bars. I got two of the Ritz Bits um, cheese flavored crackers. These were on sale, so I picked up two of those. I've got two boxes of saltine crackers. We were out, so I picked up two to stock up on. Got some chicken and a biscuit crackers. Um, these are supposed to be the hot fudge sundae pop tarts, but they were out, so they substituted it for these red, white, and blueberry pop tarts. I'm assuming they had a lot left over from 4th of July because I seen these when, when it was 4th of July. Anyways, the kids will still eat these. Um, so I've got some of those. I've got some um, beef sticks for the kids for snacks. 
And then also some of the Go Go Squeeze yogurts in these strawberry and banana flavors. All of the kids absolutely love these and these are a great to go option. So we've got some of those. Five boxes of the chicken rice -a We love this flavor, so I always like to make sure we're stocked up on that. And then I got a few of the North sides. I got two of the creamy chicken and two of the Spanish rice and one of the herb and butter. For some cereal this week, I picked up the big bags, you guys, because the big bags are like six or seven dollars for this whole bag. And it's damn near almost the same price, about $5 for a box of cereal that you're going to get way less in. So I picked up two of the big bags. I've got honeycomb cereal and the cookie crisp cereal. Got some plates back there because, as you know, your girl don't like doing dishes. So we got some of those. Staple, I pick it up every time I go grocery shopping. A five-pound bag of white rice to keep stocked up on. We were in need of more mousse for Brody's hair, so I got this. Aussie Miracle Curls Mousse has coconut oil in it. And I was out of my primer, so I picked up some more of my Prime Lab 24 hour pore mineralizer. Um, really love that stuff. This stuff is really good. Um, the um, taco shells were on sale this week, so I got some of the Old El Paso regular taco crunchy shells and then the Old El Paso bold nacho cheese shells, with the bo which the boys absolutely love these because they love getting the nacho cheese Dorito tacos from Taco Bell. They taste the same as Taco Bell, so um, I like to pick those up for the boys when we do taco night. Got some toilet paper and dead staple Dr. Pepper. Last thing I picked up over here is some water. All right, you guys, so that is everything that I got in this grocery haul. We are a family of five, and if you don't know, if you're new here, I do stockpile. I am a prepper, so I do tend to buy a lot of the same item, so that way I can be in my own grocery store, and we're not having to constantly go to the grocery store for food. But this is probably a short grocery haul. I have lots of things to do today. I am really surprised that Baby Girl let me get through this entire haul. Um... Yeah, that is everything that I got in my Walmart grocery haul this week, you guys. If you like my grocery hauls, don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next haul.